Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing a makeup review video today and I'm testing these two products. Now they're by Revlon and they're the new Candid makeup range. We've got a foundation here and a concealer. The foundation costs £9.99, the concealer £6.99. I bought them in Boots a couple of days ago and they had an offer on buy one Revlon item and get one half price. So I was able to get this a little bit cheaper. So the shades I got in the foundation is 130 and it's ivory and it's the lightest of the shade range and I've got the lightest concealer as well which is 010 and it's vanilla now they claim to be ultra blendable buildable and also full of antioxidants as well while also being anti-pollution and contains anti-blue light ingredients looking on the website here what is out are oils flaflates synthetic dyes and fragrances and the benefits are a creamy texture that goes on like a moisturizer and blends to an even out skin tone weightlessly premium plus plump packaging, medium buildable coverage with a natural finish, keeps skin feeling moisturised all day. And there's 10 mils in the concealer and there's 22 mils in the foundation, which is a little bit smaller than your normal type of foundation. So that's something to bear in mind. £9.99, it's sort of, you know, it's not a cheap foundation, but it's sort of like a middle of the range type foundation. But yeah, I'm wearing it now. You will see me applying it to my face. You'll see what my face looks like, obviously, before makeup. You'll see what it looks like now and my thoughts and I come back at the end of the day with my final thoughts as well you can see that's I've used it just one application and um, it's not gonna last long that is the only downfall that I'm gonna tell you at the moment <laughs> You're gonna have to carry on watching. My face is now ready to apply the foundation. I added skincare about two hours ago. I've been pottering around the house, so it's been about two hours. The only thing I have done more recently is added my primer. I always use this, it's Lumine. I have been using it now for the last two or three months and absolutely love it. So I thought I'd do this review based on what is normal for me. That might not be normal for you. So I can only go by what I think is great. This is this is the difficult thing about testing like and concealers and foundations because we're all different aren't we you're all different so my next step is to apply the foundation then I apply the concealer afterwards so I'm going to apply half the foundation using a makeup sponge and the other half using a brush and I'll just see what the coverage is like and how they apply and yeah which side I prefer so I've got a Nanchi beauty blender got a load of these love them it's all nicely dampened down so I'm just going to put some foundation on the back of my hand and I'm just going to do a few little dots over my face and then blend it in. There, very first light layer. That is quite nice, it is quite pale though. I did go for the palest of the shade, which is ivory, because the others just look too orange, and I was just, don't want an orange face. But, um, but yeah, we'll see what it's like when it's done properly and I've got the rest of my makeup on. By applying it with a sponge, it's gonna be more of a lighter coverage anyway. But, um, but yeah, I think it's a nice cover. It's just giving a basic cover. It's just made me a little bit more paler. <laughs> You can still see I've got the electrolysis marks coming through. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to be seeing them for a good couple of months to come. They're going to take a while to fade. It does look natural, so I'm going to apply a little bit more on and blend that in with a sponge. There's more of a difference now, isn't there? So if I look this side, <laughs> no foundation, natural skin, this side. I look a lot paler. <laughs> Oh, I wonder if it'll oxidise a little bit. It's a little bit too pale. So I'm going to do the rest of my face now with the brush and see what like one layer of foundation is like. And I'm using a blank canvas foundation brush to apply this. They're quick and easy, <laughs> quick and easy with a brush. Because it's a lightweight foundation, it does need an extra layer, it does. But um, but I do think it's nice. I do think so far, it is a bit pale, but it does look like my natural skin. Just a bit more uniform in colour. <laughs> so I'm going to do another layer. I'm just going to put the rest of that on my hand there. Normally I can see a difference between the sponge side and the brush side, but with this foundation, not much at all really. I do feel, maybe it's because I've got more marks on my cheeks, I do feel that like I want to go in with my sponge and just press it into my skin more, so I'm going to do that. It is drying down quite quickly as well, so I think for future applications, I would just like concentrate on one area at a time. It's not being affected, it's not like sticking in lumps or anything, but it is drying quite quickly. 
so I think by using a dampened beauty blending sponge it's just giving yourself more scope to actually blend that in a bit better looking at my face all finished with foundation i would say it's a light coverage foundation it can be buildable i'm not going to build it up anymore i'm going to take the concealer and dot it on my cheeks a little bit here so hopefully i can get the coverage that i need just there from the concealer but i do think even though it is a little bit pale as i keep saying i do think it's a really really nice foundation it's a really nice finish it does feel lightweight i've put two layers on not much difference in application between the sponge and the brush but for this foundation I would say I prefer the sponge only because I'm able to really press it into my skin. It is really nice. It is nice and natural, but it's given me sort of more of an even skin tone. And yeah, once I put the concealer on and the rest of my makeup, hopefully it'll just look quite nice and natural. So hmm. on to the concealer then. Okay, so I'm just gonna dab it in there. I like that it's not too pale actually, I do like that, Ooh. <laughs> just, just dotting it where I'm darker really and then just on the little areas that you can really see the um, electrolysis marks. Going back to the sponge I'm going to use this, I'm just going to blend that in, that was quick and easy, yeah I like that, quick and easy, right let's see on here. Oh my gosh, that is blending so, so fast. So, so fast. Wow, look here. And I'm pressing really lightly because I don't want to dislodge any of the foundation underneath. But look, look. <laughs> I am super, super impressed with that. Super impressed. And it's light, it is super lightweight. So let's go around my eyes. I'll use the other end there. I am super impressed with this. Really, really impressed with this concealer so far. I am going to add a little bit more, just, and well, you'll see when I put it on my, um, you'll see now. Sometimes a colour correct first. So I put an orangey tone sort of colour corrector and I just blend that in first. Then I put my foundation on and then I put concealer to brighten it up and blend it all in. But I didn't do that today. I wanted to see what it was like. It's fine. I am happy with this, but I'm just going to add just a tiny bit more here. There. So my face fully done with foundation and concealer. First impressions, I am really impressed. This is amazing. The way it blended on top of the foundation, how fast it blended is brilliant and the coverage is really, really good. It definitely brightens up my under eyes. The only downside I would say that is the colour. is a little bit too pale, the foundation, but um, I can warm that up a little bit <laughs> with some bronzer. So I'm going to go off now and apply the rest of my makeup to my face and I'll come back and tell you how it applied and what it looked like and how like the bronzer and everything went on top of it. I've just applied all my makeup and I did exactly what I normally do. This is the type of makeup I do like day to day if I'm just going out shopping, meeting friends, something like that. Very simple. I do really like it. It's not a dewy look foundation. I'd say it's more like a, a light to medium mattifying foundation foundation applying my bronzer highlight blush and everything to my face fine as always I set my face with powder so underneath my eyes I set it with a translucent powder all products that I've used on my face if you're interested I'll pop down in description so you're welcome to take a look there but yeah I pressed it with a little powder puff underneath my eyes and at my eye area because I've got hardly any eyebrows I need that area to be really really matte so that I can draw on my eyebrows <laughs> and I did my nose as well because pressing powder onto the nose it just disguises my pores and it just sets my makeup better and then what I do then oh on my chin and then I just get a big fluffy brush and then I just buff it all over my face then just to get rid of any excess but also just to like set the rest of my face but very lightly and then yeah it's just bronzer and then blush and highlight and then I finish with a little bit of set and spray because without it my face can look a bit powdery which is fine it is fine but I do like a bit of setting spray I do like to add a little bit of a bit of a glow it's gold lit by MAC but it's not really shimmery shimmery you can hardly see anything in there to be honest it's very subtle but it just gives me a tiny tiny bit of a highlight and it just accentuate, accentuates the highlight that I've already got on my like cheekbones and things I'm really happy with how the rest of the makeup is applied to my face yes you can still see I've I've got my um, electrolysis marks there but it is faint can you see <laughs> 
but it is faint it's sort of given me a really natural looking finish really natural it does look like I'm wearing makeup so it's not 100% natural but it's very light then it doesn't feel like I've got much makeup on my face at all so I'm quite impressed really impressed if any of you have tried these let me know your thoughts about these products as well because I'm not too sure how long they've been out whether they're new or they've been out for a couple of months or so I'm not too sure but they just took my fancy so I decided to give it a go and I'm really glad the only downside so far is that it comes in a small size we've got 22 mils here as to, as opposed to Too Faced and Born This Way 30 mils most of my foundations come in at about 30 mils so 22 is quite a step down and yeah even though obviously Revlon is a lot cheaper than Too Faced but then comparing other foundations you do normally get around 30 mils 22 is more on the lower end but um but yes yeah, so, you know, I can imagine me running out of that quite quickly look see but it's a handy size if you want to take away with you have sink in yeah handy size so yeah so enough of me blabbing <laughs> i'm really happy at the moment the way it looks the way it's turned out the way it's applied the way my makeup is applied on top the way it's sitting the way it's setting so yeah 100 percent happy with it and it's definitely something i would go off and buy again but i'm gonna leave it on now for a good couple of hours probably come back and say six seven hours later tonight and show you what it's like and give you my final thoughts so i'll see you then <laughs> this is another day unfortunately i completely completely forgot to film a finish to my video so i've applied the foundation exactly how i did and the concealer and use the same products on my skin as i did in the video just my makeup's a little bit different my eye looks a little bit different it is now half past eight in the evening i've had this makeup on my face since around 10 o'clock this morning about half nine ten o'clock something like that so a long long time so going up close you can see that the electrolysis marks are coming through a little bit my nose is a little bit patchy it's okay i wouldn't say it's amazing it's not amazingly long lasting if i went over it with like a powder puff or my beauty blending sponge or something then i can refresh it that way i'm sure it'll look okay but i've just left it as it is so i could show you it's okay the color is nice it's super pale as soon as i apply it to my skin but then it does sort of blend well into the skin especially when i've got the rest of my makeup on as well so bottom line is a light coverage it does seem to blend into the face really lovely it has a sort of mattifying effect to it but the longer you wear it throughout the day it does sort of like go into your skin so it just feels nice it really really feels nice on the skin i think it's really lovely it just doesn't last as long as a lot of other foundations but then saying that my l'oreal one the infallible pro glow one that doesn't last super well for these many hours either a good say five hours and that's tops really i am really happy and i'll definitely buy it again and you'll have it as a day-to-day -day type foundation so I hope you enjoyed watching, hope you found it informative. We all have got different skins and our preferences are all different, but I hope this helped in your search for a perfect foundation. <laughs> so if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel for lots more videos to come. So take care and I'll speak soon. Bye.